This year has flown by and we are already back here at the time of year where we all eat ourselves into a food coma and pass out on the couch with a food baby full of turkey and mashed potatoes, all in the name of the Pilgrims and the Indians, which if we're being honest with ourselves, we really underplay how bad the Indians got boned in that deal. We don't talk, it's kind of like a dirty little secret. We just kind of pass right over. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about my ever enduring, evolving quest to end Thanksgiving day of bland, boring, dry ass turkey. And this year, I say the best way to do that, get rid of the turkey. Or most of it at least. Fear not, this is not some vegan friendly furky recipe where we're gonna make fake turkey out of ground up cauliflower or some other random vegetable assortment that tastes like sadness. I say we're getting rid of most of the turkey because today we're gonna talk about smoking a boneless turkey breast for Thanksgiving this year. Before we crack into how we're gonna cook the bird today, let's take a second to appreciate the sweet shirt that I'm wearing today and thank the sponsor of today's video, Into the AM. If you're like me and you can appreciate the awesomeness of the almighty t-shirt, then you're probably gonna to wanna to check the folks at Into the AM out. Hell, I even have my own line of t-shirts. So you know if I'm repping another brand, it's because they're doing something right. They offer an awesome line of graphic tees just like the one I have on today. If you're not into this design, maybe something, maybe something like this is more your jam. Maybe you say, Jeremy, I'm not into graphic tees at all. I'm more of a classic guy. All right. Classic tee it is. No guy can go wrong with a good classic tee. They have a full lineup of basic tees, a bunch of colors, V-necks, crew necks, whatever tickles your pickle. They use 60-40 blend, which I'm personally a huge fan of. It's that nice soft feel with just enough stretch to where it doesn't look like you're wearing an old sack of potatoes an hour after you put it on because it's all stretched out. I hate that crap. Hell, if you're a super simple guy like myself when it comes to your wardrobe, you can get a bundle of tees that has like nine shirts in it for like around a hundred bucks, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, depending on the shirt you pick. Get yourself a few pair of good jeans. Your clothes situation is squared away. Done. With cold weather starting to settle in this time of year, they also have hoodies, long sleeve shirts. They've got undies, hats, tanks, joggers, the whole gambit. So if this sounds like something you're into, check the link I'm gonna put down below and then make sure you use my code SIRES10 to get an additional 10% off your purchase. You already get a discount if you buy one of the bundles of shirts, get an extra 10%. Come on, you can't beat that. Thanks to the folks at Into the AM for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel. Okay, so back to talking turkey. I'm sorry, I had to do it, I had to, I had to. Now you guys know I like to give credit where credit is due. And I got the idea for doing these turkey breasts over on my boy Bradley at Chud's Barbecue. I watched a video of his about five or six months ago where he was smoking these on a Weber, if I'm remembering correctly. And that inspired me to give these guys a try. If you haven't checked out Chud's Barbecue, definitely go check out the channel. He does a great job and has some delicious to saying recipes over there on his channel. I gave these things a go and man, am I glad that I did. This has come, become one of those dinners that's in the normal family dinner rotation. Everybody loves them. They're one of the easiest things you can do on the smoker. They don't take a lot of ingredients. I always cook a few of these at a time. So I have lots of leftovers. Like my boy Matt Pittman says over at Meat Church, if you're gonna fire up the smoker, you might as well take advantage and cook a bunch of grub. If you take the leftovers from these the next day and you put them on a meat slicer and slice it up into cold cuts, or if you don't have a meat slicer, just slice them real thin with a knife. Get yourself some ciabatta bread, toast that up, put you a nice big heap of this turkey, put a little bacon on there, some cheddar cheese, then throw that in the oven, get that all melty and toasty and lovely. A little lettuce, a little tomato maybe, a little ranch dressing, forget about it. You put that sandwich on your head, your tongue will beat your brains out trying to get to it. I'm telling you, one of my favorite sandwiches, D. 
delicious. Point is, these turkey breasts are a way better way to cook up from some turkey for Thanksgiving than the traditional whole turkey. And you're not paying for all that crap and bone and everything else. This is just big old hunks of meat. So what you're gonna need to smoke up this bird is pretty simple. It's one of the great things, not a difficult recipe. You're gonna need some boneless turkey breast. There is a difference between boneless turkey roast, boneless turkey breast roast. I made the mistake and bought those one time and you can still do those, but that's like um, a bunch of turkey breast when they're smaller and then they kind of pack them all together and put netting on them. I prefer to get the whole boneless turkey breast. Usually in the three to four pound range if I can, depends on how big I can find them, I find those cook up the best. How many you're gonna need is depending on how big a turkey breast you can find, how many people you're cooking for, so forth and so on. But I suggest you cook way more than you need because like I said, leftovers are clutch on this to cook. Then you're gonna need some Lowry's. I'm sorry, I, I can't not say it that way. Lowry's season salt, some coarse black pepper, and again, with the pepper can, it's, and, and look, I'm not affiliated with these guys. I have no affiliation with the pepper cannon people, but if you use a lot of back black pepper, that is the best pepper grinder I've ever had. It's expensive, it's absurdly expensive, but it's just great. And some dry rub of your choice. I'm choosing to go with Meat Church's Honey Bacon Barbecue, because anytime you can add a little bacon flavor to something, why the hell not? I mean, let's be honest, bacon is life. You're also gonna need a Paula Deen shitload amount of butter, uh, generally about one stick per breast, and some aluminum foil, and then obviously you're gonna need a smoker. Rather that be a Weber that you offset cook with some wood chunks, pellet grill, offset, whatever floats your boat. Today, I'm gonna be smoking on my mill scale offset, but you do you, boo. That's all she wrote, you're ready for business. For prepping these turkey breasts, super easy. First, let me glove up. No glove, no love. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I think that's a different thing. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the skin off. You could leave the skin on, I suppose, if you wanted to, but I found that when you smoke skin at a lower temperature, it's a little rubbery, uh, and I do not appreciate that. And it's super easy just to pull this up and then lightly score with your knife. Just get a little edge like that on there, just pull up on it, and then lightly score it with your knife. Most of the time, you can just pull. And if it gets tough where you can't pull, give it a couple little scores. Pull some more, a couple little scores. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So now what we got is just two big old hunks of turkey meat. Next thing we're gonna do is dry rub these. Now you could inject them, but that's one of the things I love about this recipe. It's simple. There's no need for brining, spatchcocking, injecting, or any of that stuff that you have to do to a whole turkey to make it worth a crap and edible. These things turn out great as is, so I usually just choose to keep it simple. When I am dry rubbing anything, I like to put it in these aluminum pans. It's nice because then all your leftover dry rub gets caught. It doesn't make as much of a mess and it catches the extra. So then when you're done, you can kind of roll it over in it to make sure you get all the sides and everything. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna dry rub the non-presentation or ugly side or whatever you wanna call it. And I've already pre-ground a little black pepper. It's one of the things I like about this pepper can and it's got this little thing on the bottom that you can grind into. Nice coat of some coarse black pepper. Just gonna get a nice even coating of this stuff. This fresh ground pepper, you don't have to go quite as crazy with because it's a little stronger than stuff that's pre-ground. Then we're gonna come back with a little Mike Lowry's I tend to go a little liberal on most of my dry rubs and stuff like this because it's a big old hunk of meat and you're only seasoning the outside. So I have found rarely can you over season it. That's not to say you can't, but. And then last but certainly not least, we're gonna hit it up with a little of our honey bacon barbecue from our man, Matt Pittman over at Meat Church. If you guys haven't tried Matt's rubs, they really are among my favorites. I almost exclusively use them these days because he's got such a variety that covers basically anything you could possibly want. There's the back side, nice and seasoned up. Now you're gonna flip it, smack it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is a children's children's episode. So we're gonna we're gonna go easy on the flipping it and smacking it. Although, you know what I'm saying. 
Cut off any little loose bits that you see while you're doing all this. Little bits that are hanging off aren't gonna do you any good. They're just gonna burn up on the smoker. Same thing on the presentation side. Gonna do a nice little liberal coat of some black pepper, some Mike Lowry's. And we finish off with just a little bit of our honey bacon barbecue. Same situation as we did on the other side. Very, very simple. It's one of the reasons I love this. No muss, no fuss. You can get it done in like five minutes. Last but certainly not least, oftentimes we'll tuck. Down here, you kind of, on turkey breast, you kind of have like a thin side. I usually kind of tuck that up a little bit and I try to make them kind of more loaf shape. So I'll kind of tuck that in under, kind of squeeze it, push it around. Helps it cook a little more evenly and it just a little bit better presentation. Okay, we're gonna let these guys hang out for a few, let them sweat, let that seasoning have a good chance to adhere. I'm gonna wash up. We're gonna go fire up the old smoker, get ready to throw these bad boys on. folks the mill scale is all warmed up ready to put these birds on we are running at about 275 right now temperatures kind of varies depends on what you're looking for for a more smirk smoky bird you could go down as low as like 225 smoke it a little longer keep it in that smoke longer for a smokier flavor if you want less smoke you could crank it up around 3 325 do it hot and fast but just a little bit of smoke flavor. My goal for the day is to keep it about that 250 to 275 mark. That's where I find, kind of found the sweet spot. So that's what we're shooting for today. As for cook time, that's gonna be variable based on the size of your breast. We want our bird to be about 145, I'd say closer to 150 before we pull it to wrap it. For this one, I'm gonna keep an eye on it after about an hour and a half to two hours. Well, let's get these guys on here. Like I said, I like to keep it in that football shape. I'm gonna put it on there, give it a little light massaging. Everybody likes a little massage, right? <sighs> Bong hit, Jesus. Wrap those sides under, get that potato shape. And our little turkey potatoes will be on there for the next couple hours. Like I said, keep an eye on them, 145, 150. We'll come back. Folks, we got one of our breasts temping right about 150, which is where we want it. The other one's not quite there yet, so we'll take that one off in just a few minutes and wrap it, but I wanted to show you guys this step. Really simple stuff. Once your breast gets to about 145, 150, you want finished temperature about 160, 165. And so once we get to 150, we're gonna put it in a couple double wraps of aluminum or aluminium, as my friends from across the pond say. And then we are just going to pour a ludicrous amount of butter over top of that bad boy. That's really close to a full stick of butter. Get plenty on the top there. Then we're gonna flip it upside down. So that top part is soaking in the butter. We're just gonna wrap this little butter baby up in a little ball like such. Again, kind of looks a little like baked potato. Then we're gonna throw this guy back on for probably not more than 20 or 30 minutes. But again, I will check it with my Insta read in about 20 minutes through the aluminum foil, see if we're close to 160. Once we're close to 160, we're gonna pull these guys off, let them rest for about 15, 20 minutes. They should carry over cook to around 165. We're losing light fast. So by then it's probably gonna be dark. We'll uh, cut into them inside and check out how they came out back on the smoker. All right, the big moment, the finished product. This one, let's see, these took two hours and 54 minutes. And these were about just a hair under three pounds, basically three pounds. And I pulled these off at 158, 160. It was right around there when I pulled them off and then they carried over to like 163. So that's about where I normally like to cook them. 
They've been resting now for a good 30 minutes. I actually got tied up doing some other stuff. So they've been resting for a while. Let's flip this guy. Ooh, look at all that lovely butter sauce in there. Look at how nice and golden brown and delicious that guy right there looks. Now you're not gonna tell me that is not a good looking piece of turkey. I think that looks far better than any whole turkey I've ever seen. And it's one solid hunk of meat, so this is 100% edible. You can just slice it, there's no messing about, there's no nothing. Drizzle a little more of that butter across the top. You could serve these on like a platter, make several. Depends on how big you get, how you wanna like display it for Thanksgiving, but I'm telling you, this is the way to go for Thanksgiving. The whole turkey. Let's get a little slice off of here so that we can see what we're working with here. Oh yes. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Now I don't know how well the camera is gonna pick that up, but that is juicy and tender. <laughs> Forget about it. I'm gonna dip it in some of that butter. Look at that, come on. You serious? You guys complain when I do this, there's a lot of mouth noises because my mic is like this close to my mouth. <laughs> so I'm trying to like keep my mouth super closed so I'm not like making some of you guys sick. <laughs> a better way to go about doing Thanksgiving turkey right there. I know if you guys can see a nice cross section of that. A little bit of pinkness around the edge from that smoke. And I mean, these are just tender and juicy. Look at that. Can you see the, the juice? Look at this, oh, goodness gracious. Even if you don't do these for Thanksgiving, definitely give these guys a try. Not only are they delicious for a meal, but then when you're done, what you have left is I just take whatever's left after they've cooled overnight, put them in the fridge the next day, and I will put them on my meat slicer and slice cold cuts out of it. And these are the best cold cuts you'll ever get for a turkey sandwich. Feeds a ton of people, it's easy to make, great leftovers, I mean, Come on, come on. Before we close this out though, as always, we have to draw a winner from last week's giveaway and then do this week's. So I'm gonna eat some of this turkey and then we'll finish this thing out upstairs in a few. All right, here was a little last minute food porn for you guys on the way out. I'm telling you, man, that turkey. Anyway, let's close this baby up. Let's draw a winner from last week's video real quick. Let's get it pulled up and pick. And the winner is C dot J dot. Sorry, I had to pause for a second. I wasn't sure how to pronounce that. And that may, may not be correct, but I think it's C dot J dot. Great video. I follow Talon Sai as well. I know y'all had a great time. Hashtag beard brand, hashtag bold fortune. Yes, you are correct, my good friend. We did have a great time. That was a lot of fun in Austin, Texas. Congratulations, brother, on a beard brand bundle. Hopefully you have a little facial fuzz so you can fully appreciate the goodness of the beard brand bundle. I will be contacting you down below in the comments and asking you to email me so I can get your shipping deets. What should we do on this week's giveaway? You know what? I was gonna talk about this, but this will actually be out in time. We can do uh, this in the giveaway. So this is the new utility oil. It's a limited edition of the utility oil that I worked with the good dudes over at Beard Brand to formulate. It's a new fragrance I worked on. It's called Bold Fortune and it's coming out Good Friday. Good Friday. <laughs> That's Easter. It's coming out Black Friday, which is this coming Friday. And I'm telling you, this stuff, it's, I think it's even better than old money. I know, I know that's bold statement. Bold fortune is the name. I mean, it is, but I think it's better than old money. And it's unfortunate it's a limited edition because I'm going to get as much of this stuff as I can because once it's gone, I'm going to be real upset. For a fragrance, think like uh, charred white oak, vintage leather, and oud. 
I'm telling you, this stuff is mint. Rules are as always. You gotta be a subscriber to the channel. You gotta smash that like button. And let's see, for this week's hashtags, comment down below, hashtag turkey boobs, because, well, that's what this video is about, and that's hilarious. And hashtag bold fortune, because that is the name of the new fragrance we're coming out with. Winner will be announced live in the next video. And as always, I hate to say this every video, but I have to, there's still some little scammers floating around out there occasionally. So if you don't hear me announce your name live, you didn't win, don't fall for the random comments of people saying you won all kinds of weird crap. If I don't say your name, it's a scam. Also, don't forget Black Friday coming. We've got uh, cool hoodies out, little skull hoodies. You guys seen these new ones? With the embroidered skull logo. Pretty, pretty excited about that. The, the old one was like a uh, printed and now we have it embroidered, which I think is way, way cooler. Um, new ashtrays are out, lots of cool stuff coming out. So if you're doing some shopping on Black Friday, don't forget about your boy. We got some cool stuff out there for you guys. All right, well that wraps this one up guys. I won't see you guys again before, so I want to make sure I wish everyone a happy and safe Thanksgiving. Hope you guys all get to spend some good time with your family and enjoy the day. For you guys outside of uh, the places that celebrate Thanksgiving, I still hope you have a great week. All right guys, that wraps this one up. If you enjoyed it, smash that like button. That always helps us out. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. We'd love to have you on board. I hope everyone is having a fantastic week and we'll see you in the next video. Rosie's gonna eat some turkey. She loves the turkey. She loves when I do cooking videos because they get some of the scraps. Don't you? Don't you? Don't you get the scraps? Don't you like Thanksgiving? See, I like turkey. I like Thanksgiving. I like Thanksgiving. I like all the turkey. I love it. I love it so much.